Hi there, my name is Paul Harvey and this is a Market That video and I haven't been on video for quite a while. I've not been making these for a bit. Well, why is that? I was wondering where I've been and what, what is it? I, I guess I've been busy. I guess I've had some client work on. I also think um, my father died in February, towards the end of the middle of February and you know, he was an old man, it was time for him to go but I, I think that the parent leaving, my last parent leaving, kind of did make me refocus my life a bit and made me think about what, what was important. And I think I'm still in that process. I start thinking about kind of like, hmm, what is it I actually want? Where do I want to be in 10 years' time? Well, that, that famous thing we always have, you know, where are you going to be? What are you doing with your life? You know, it's that kind of feeling, really. It was quite touching because um, Dad had left a letter for us uh, when he died. Uh, not really a letter, I would say more of a, a list of kind of, you know, important information. But at the bottom of it, it was the, it was the one kind of thing that kind of touched me. And I have to be careful because I've got to be burst into tears if I read this, if I say this wrong. But it was like, it was like, hope all goes well and have a great life. And it was like, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That does kind of like, I can feel it now. And I don't know why that kind of catches me a bit, but it's interesting to know that it does. And I've read it a lot since I've come, since he has died. So moving on to what I am here to talk about today. And it is about what's new, what's happening at the moment. Well, what is new? What is big news in the, in the marketing world at the moment? And that is Facebook Messenger. Hmm. If you've got a Facebook page you, or a Facebook account, you could not have missed Facebook Messenger. And I have to say I have mixed views about it at the moment. And I think it's a bit of a Wild West situation where people are friending me or um, somehow getting into my Messenger account and sending me all sorts of trash that I don't really want. So I think there, there will be some level of kind of... Um, development of the process as it settles down. But the one thing is clear is that Messenger is not going to go away. I mean, I think Facebook have tried a funny. They've, they've stuck it at the top of the, of the um, mobile app. So you have no choice but to see this Messenger service at the top of the app, um, which is very much like the Snapchat idea of having stories that explode after a certain period of time. Um, I mean, if I'm talking Greek to you, please don't worry about it. You know, uh, you know what I'm getting at is that Facebook Messenger is an opportunity, basically. And what it does for your Facebook page, it allows you to um, set up a series of um, messages, like out of office replies, for want of a better word, where someone can receive a message from you and then select different bits of information they would like to have or they would like to have a meeting or those sort of things. It allows them to have a layer of interaction with you without you being present. And I know you can do this on email, you can do this on all sorts of systems, but the messenger thing is a little bit more instantaneous. So I think that's it's going to be its value. It's not an AI, it's not about you know artificial intelligence and that will come. I think that definitely will come. Um, you know, give it 10 years or so and you'll be able to have a conversation with the message bot, which will be purely and simply a conversation. So, you know, those things are coming, but at the moment we're just in the, in the realms of um, just a, a conversation at the moment. So I would be interested in developing message bots with someone. If you've, if you've got an interest in message bots and, you know, you've seen this thing and you would like to develop it, I would be really interested in working with some people to do that. Uh, what else have we got on offer at the moment? Um, I've got some spaces in AdWords at the moment. I've got about, uh, about two spaces left probably as, a, as an AdWords clients. You know, AdWords is, I mean, I'm talking high-end AdWords here. You've got to be spending, getting on for, you've got to be thinking of spending 500 a month on the ads alone to make it valid. Um, now, all right, let me qualify that a bit. It is possible to do AdWords on a very small budget. And I'm very happy to help you set that up. If you want to make AdWords, you know, your thing, the thing that generates all of your business, then you're talking 500 to 1,000 a month. I mean, there are people that I know, not my clients, I have to admit, that are dropping 10 grand a day on AdWords. 
Yeah, I know. Amazing, isn't it? 10 grand a day on AdWords. But, you know, these would be, you know, international consultancies or they would be you know, particular organisations that are selling million pound products. You know, and 10 grand a day, if it gets some two conversations and one of them turns out to be a million pounds, that's worth doing. You know, so, so that, that's kind of how it works. You know, it, it, it is quite amazing what is possible using AdWords, but it does work from the top of the tree and it can work at the bottom. So let's not be, you know, not be frightened off by it. If you're not using the basics of AdWords, I have to say, you are missing out. You do need to be using the basics of AdWords. Now, what does that mean? It means on your website, you must have analytics set up. You must link it to an AdWords account. And then you need to set up, set up um, remarketing lists within your analytics account that are linked into your AdWords account. I know it sounds complicated. There is a video. I've got a video of it somewhere. I, I will share it if that's, you know, that's an interesting thing. But the important thing about it is that once you've set that process up, if you ever needed it, you can go back to it. You know, because just think about this. If everybody that visited your site for the last year was accessible through your through an AdWords account, if you've got a, a burning thing that you have to tell everybody, you can put that message out into the world and everybody who ever visited your website in the last year will have that information. Now, you know, you can't tell me that's not valuable. So that's why it's so critically important to put these systems in place. And I've been rambling for six minutes now, so let's, let's kind of wind this up a bit. So anyway, what I was going to say today is um, just, hello, I'm back. And I'm going to be making more video and I'm going to be involved in a lot more things. And, you know, stick around. It's going to be fun. Interact. Talk to me. Tell me what you want. That might be interesting to know. What do you want to do? This is Paul Harvey, Market That, signing off.